Hello, hello. Hello, Reborn. Hope you're having a good day. Oop. Take a second for everything to load in, though. Oh, you know, I never... Wait, yeah, I did. Huh. Oh, it just gone. Okay. That's why. There we go. I was gonna say, I was pretty sure I switched it to Shantae, but I didn't actually unhide it. Hello. I'll actually get that clubhouse game thing. Octojet. Octojet. Welcome everybody back to Shantae. Yeah, loading screen. Well, just in case you didn't hear me, I did get the, uh, clubhouse thing. That way... You can play that whenever. I don't know. I've messed around with it a bit. There is that- there is one game that I tried to play, and I'm like, I- this is impossible. Like, I can't- I can't do this. It was like, speed draw or something? You have to like quickly stack rel like related cards faster than your opponent. There's like two I have to probably show it to really properly explain it, but there's like two decks in the middle and you have a deck and your opponent has a deck and you have to quickly stack relevant cards. Like if there's a 3, then you have to put a 4 or a 2. If there's an ace, you have to put a 2 or a king. Yeah, speed. But it's just it's impossible to beat a computer at that. It's not even that it's fast paced, it's that there's no... There's no delay. There's no... Like, hesitation from the higher tiered computers. They just know. They know exactly what the next card is before you can even look at it. 
So the second you place a card down, they know exactly what you were going to place, and they place another one there. And when no one can place any card and it puts two random ones out, they instantly know what to put down. There's no way to react to it. You've got to hurry! You've got to hurry! Anyways, for Shantae, for those that forgot, uh, we have to go around and destroy the four towers that are hidden throughout the area. We have to see if we can stop from doing whatever nonsense she's going to do. Yeah, when you hit three or four, you can only play like maybe five or six games. Which is really weird because uh, there is a four player version of some of those games, right? Like pool? Good luck. Hmm. Hmm? Oh. Energy Collector Mark 1, Sun Siphoning Silo. I didn't know there was a boss. Oh, whoops. Ow. Well, it's dead. All clear. One down, three to go. I think it does, but I don't know. Either way, you can't play it with the three to four people. It has to be two people for like almost all of them. Which isn't really bad, it's just kind of like... They could have probably in included a few more multiplayer things. Thank you, Reborn. It was definitely one of the hardest bosses we've had to deal with for a while. I'm not sure we can... I'm not sure we can take the rest of them. I mean, that one took forever. Time. It's not like I have all day. Gosh. Yeah, everyone's here just to wish me good luck. Not actually helping any. Bunch of jerks. Ugh, I wish it would stop this loading thing. I'm definitely not gonna try to speedrun this. And the issue is fixed in some way. Either through my own messing around or something else. Thank you, Gum. Also, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Archers? An archer monster card. Ah, I'm so glad murder gets me collectibles. Energy Collector Mark II, Sun Siphoning Silo. I plan on thinking about it, but... I don't know. Just seeing how active I am with my other speedrun. Plus, Metroidvanias are harder to do. All that platforming. Alright, so we've got one... Hmm, did I not go all the way to the left? I guess not. Oh well. Now! You know, I plan on at least giving it a look. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this game, but I do feel like it has a little less heart than the last one did. I say that while knowing that there was 
what four or five DLCs that were nothing but the same game over again. But I don't know, they just they weren't bad. It'd be, it would have been nice if there was more to it. But Oh, hi. The only real issue was that it was just the same game with different, slightly different mechanics. But otherwise, the story was fun. The game impact was fun. I feel the I feel like it had less effort put into it. Well, yeah, that was the point. It wasn't a Metroidvania. It was just do the stages. But this, the writing in this one just feels so, like, kind of empty in some places. Like, Risky is just kind of here. And she fights you, but she doesn't really talk about why she's fighting you. She just does it. And then, like, the Armor Baron, he puts you, he traps you in a box for Squid Baron. Like, first off, Squid Baron's not gonna pay for anything. He's just gonna steal it. And then Armor Baron just kinda gives up. And I know Risky has her, like, has her reasons. But, I don't know, I always, I just don't really like it when games and stories are just like, uh, you have this thing. I don't blame you. I think his appearance is cute, but everything else about him is pretty eh. There's also more or less game design of this game is very metroidvania which is fine that's what it's supposed to be but the dances being revealed like before you even like know that you're going to get one is pretty lazy it's also clear there's only going to be four so you're like oh well why is there only four maybe harmony betrays us or something she seemed likable therefore she's probably evil Big reveal that wasn't the case. The zombie just wasn't a zombie. Or well, she was a zombie, but she wasn't a genie zombie. You know, and there's also this menu where it has like, oh, here's all the things you're gonna get. Here's all the key items, the fusions. The powers are the exact same from the last few games. Except I think they didn't have boomerangs. Even then, they probably did. It's like, that's... We could use new things after, what, five games now? Also, not on the game, but on Twitch. This game is still called Shantae 5 on Twitch. It's been out for a while. Oh, that reminds me, too. Uh... For the waiting screen, uh, we will probably have less varied songs because apparently uh, Twitch has put out a thing where if you use copyrighted songs, you will probably get struck with a little note and could potentially be banned from Twitch for that. They really want to cut down on copyright songs. Time to get back to Arena Town. You're back. 
yeah, scimitar and pike ball and whatever, like, I'm okay with the things remaining in the game, but they're already programmed in, like, I don't think it'd be that hard to copy that stuff, right? Like, why can't we have new things? Also, the transformations are fun, but they're really just upgrades. They're not like the last games where it's actually transformations. And I don't like that. I kind of miss being a monkey. Just being able to be a monkey whenever I want. I knew you could do it. Uh, did you? It worked. He didn't voice the concerns, but they were there. Yeah, all four energy collectors are down for the count. Mm-hmm. That should stop the flow of power into the city. Um, if that's true, then how do you explain this? Guys, look! We're already too late. The ship is about to... It's a blimp! Why, though? Since when does she- <laughs> My word, it's true! <laughs> We're all going to die. The city? But it really was a ship. Not just any ship, an airship, with whiskey boots at the helm. The cannons like rain aimed right at the island, mostly at Shantae's face. What'll we do? We need a plan and fast. Uh huh. We gotta get Shantae inside that ship. Huh? Okay. Show us what you can do. What can she do? Oh, she summoned a single platform. Eh? Summon some sort of transport device. I understand. She's the ability to teleport things. Siren used her to warp away half genies during the half genie festival. Now she wants to help us stop the sirens once and for all. You got all that from a few annoying screech. Wow, rude. Lobster girl seems pretty okay. Time for you to go and confront risky boots and also whatever the sirens are doing. Must do whatever it takes to destroy that airship before I can fire. Am I on a timer? She's okay. I wonder if they'll explain why Shantae didn't get abducted, though. Did Lobster Girl just like her hair? the finale after all. I was considering doing something else today, but I was like, nah, I should beat Shantae. We should try to beat more than one game within the same month, maybe? Okay, well. Uh, I miss being a monkey. There we go. All right. Show me the platforms. Yep, they're there. Ooh, oh, dang it. I stopped crawling for half a second and got a spike in the back of my head. Ow, what was that? Sorry about that crunch noise. I don't really know what that was. Ugh. The dances are also pretty neat, but a lot of them are just blockade stoppers. Like, oh, there's nothing here? Well, better use 
three of my dances. Actually, all four of them are like that. And that's no fun. There are interesting things you can do with them, but... It's just, it feels more like they're there to stop your progress than to actually be upgrades for you. And I can bring these girls back to life. Oh no! Oh no! What did I do? I didn't think I could bring the skulls back to life. Yeah, I knew it killed the undead, which is... typical. Well. Oh. Sheer perfection, what? Those guys also come back to life, I guess. Not the skeletons, though. They don't get flesh. Those, those are spikes, okay. Dang it, I couldn't jump fast enough. <laughs> well, I jumped. No, we have to do it. This is the fastest way. Dang it. Dang it. I have to jump sooner. No, dang it. Ah. Aha! There we go. There's a pit there. Okay. Uh, there's probably specific in er, enemies that you can do that to. Yeah, there's interesting interactions with enemies, but there's nothing fun to do with them besides that. I don't know. Maybe I'm too picky. Like, who's this person? Nope, doesn't care for that. What about this? That does damage. Nope, nothing. Also, these are like fish cannoneers, I guess? Ow. Siren soldiers. Okay. How many do I need? Uh, there they are. Quake Dance consumes less magic when used. Oh, is it all of them are siren soldiers? That's a little sad. At least the other variants got different cards. Would you like to save your progress? Thank you. You can also kind of tell that a lot of stuff from this game is just completely reused from Half Genie Era. Like that old man is the exact same model. Which is fine, but... I don't know. I'm just being picky, I guess. At least there's a lot of other new things in there. Like, the Siren Soldiers are pretty neat looking. Hello, Taco Jet. Are you ready for Octo Jet? Octo Jet Tacos? Who's this? Hmm... Uh, yes and no. Like, they didn't do it with Half Genie Hero at all, because they were completely, like, com completely different from the previous ones. But there were usually, like, new animations or something. Or, like, different, like, colors. 
But these are the exact same. Look, all I want... All I want is an explanation on who that old man is, okay? No one acknowledges him, and he does such amazing work for us. Yes, that's what it is. Hmm, I guess I could unequip my gather stuff card. The cards are neat. It's a neat little collectible thing, though it does kind of add to the grind since it's all luck based. But that's fine. Spikes. Ret to go. Right, I can't use my invulnerability shield on these spikes. Now we use... crap. There we go. But you know, maybe I'm just being too picky about everything. I just kind of expect more after... all that build up with the... uh... Hello, Sylvia. Hope you're having a good day. All that build up with the animated intro and whatnot. Also, ex excluding Scimitar, I think all of my magic kind of sucks. As usual. Siren Soldier Monster Card. Well, I hope she got better sleep, but I can't help but be very suspicious that she did. Do you see a frog? I don't see a frog. Oh, okay. Oh, no. No! Hello. What is this? Who are you? What? Is this an eye? Oh, right. These things. I forgot about these things. Oh, okay, Spikes. See, Risky Boots knows me best. She knows that if she puts spikes anywhere. It doesn't even matter if it's really a threat. If there's a spike in the area, I will probably hit it. Like so. Curved myself directly into that one. Darn my giant head. There. There, I did it. I escaped the spiky room. Stupid magnetized spikes. It's not my fault the spikes just attract everything cool. No, there's too many things. Why are there so many things? How do you shoot this many fish? You're not even in the sea anymore. This is an airship. Are there air fish? This is your captain speaking. I'm afraid we have to uh, take a brief, a brief detour as there is a school of giant whales in front of us. They're not even fish, and yet they're here. Why are Rice Krispie Treats acting as my platforms? And also vanishing. Ah! Whew. Almost became a pancake. 
Hello, doof. Hope you're having a good day. Aha! You can't escape my newt dash. That does not answer the question. Just because something's delicious doesn't mean you should step on it. Ow. A Sean cake. But why do they vanish? They should crumble beneath my feet. Ah, dang it. Yeah. Nope. Dang it. I ran out of, ran out of things. Okay. Just gotta take it slow. Are all of these fake? Are they not even really Rice Krispie treats? Are they great value ones? They're just fake. They pretend like they're just cheaper versions, but you take a bite and you're like, oh, this tastes like absolute vinegar smushed into a cake. Hmm? Oh, more of these. Ah. I should eat some tuna. Now. Now, can't just walk in my general direction and cause me harm, dang it. Ugh. It's a great value, okay? Am I unable to hurt them unless I have avoided being hit or something? There, I avoided being hit by being hit. Are you happy? Oh, of course not. Of course you're not happy. You're never happy. Why can't I do the thing? Why can't I do one thing right? Give me some more crabs, please. I don't ask- I asked you for crabs, not pulled pork. Just because I'm eating a lot doesn't mean I want to pig out. Dang it. Let me just newt myself into another... Another being of existence. Give me the hearts, please. Thanks. Tortoise. Okay, well... I was gonna tortoise the whole way through, but I decided not to. How am I? How dare you ask such a thing. But I'm okay. Overall. Hope you're all doing well. I wonder what these things are for. And they have such weird writing on them, too. I wonder if they actually put in the time to make their own siren language, or if it's just a bunch of scribbles. Probably just a bunch of scribbles. You like, it'll look mysterious if we put in a bunch of X's and S's and... You know, all that stuff. Just put in a bunch of random letters, it'll look mysterious. Aha. Uh -huh. Dang it. How am I supposed to deal with these guys? Like, obviously I've got some kind of method, but there's no nothing but madness there. There's no real method to the madness, it just is madness. And I'm dying. Again. Yeah. And I'm dead. Spikes. Oh, I can bubble myself as a frog. That's neat. I never knew my magic could do that. Yeah, that is a other another small pet peeve, I guess, is 
in some of the dialogue, it is literally the same dialogue over and over again. And that's kind of weird. Not really bad, just weird. Oh, I died. Well, that'll count as a death, I guess. One second. Okay. My auto potion kicked in. That's why I came back to life. Magic. How many save points are in this ship? You would think with this many save points, the sirens would have been a little safer. Also, this old man gets around. He... He's the type of guy who will be like, no, I'm taking the window seat. Oh, which one would you like, sir? All of them. No. I think he's been at, like, every single window that has the flag. Oh, no, I don't mean the the thing for expressions. Like, that's whatever. I, I'm okay with the pictures. They can't draw a thing for everything. Uh, I mean, every time you talk to the... to the genies and get their powers or whatever, she... Shante says four times, Wow, I never knew my magic could do that. And also, when you get the fusion coins, even Roddy Top says... Use this to defeat the source of evil in this place. Like, she wouldn't say that. That's not her usual type of dialogue. Ow. And all of them say it. Even Zapple, who didn't want to trust you. And then came around to it because you're cool. Hello, birds. Where that these birds aren't a different color. Like, I get that they're reusing the models, but they could have recolored them. They should be like... Uh, like, have rainbow colors or whatever. Uh-oh. 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 Characters being out of character and also just repeating the exact same dialogue. For no real reason. And I mean, some characters don't even really have a character. I'm not really sure what Bolo is supposed to be other than dumb at this point. And then there's Uncle. Not really sure what Uncle's supposed to be doing. Yeah, I know. They couldn't even... They couldn't even, like, make Armor Baron different from his brother. He's literally just Ammo Baron, but red and skinny. Yeah. The dialogue part's whatever. I know they can't voice every single line. And hey, I'd be out of the job if they did. Uh, though it is weird when they voice part of the text box and then ignore the rest of it. No, Ammo Baron is blue. He's the big blue guy with the hat. With the little fuzzy hat. Armor Baron from this game is red. Eat some salmon. Stab some guys. And Ammo Baron is in... hmm. A powered Boo Red suit. Hmm, my favorite collar, Boo Red.
Okay. I did it. Do you think they got the idea for Armor Baron from that powered up suit? It's like, oh, he's got red armor! <gasps> armor Baron! Eh, the question mark's appropriate. <sighs> Hello, old man. I see you ran out of... ran out of window seats. Hey, look, a door. Guess who the final There we go. If you guessed the same boss as the last four games, you're correct. It's him, the mayor. How did he get here before me? Shante, thank goodness you're here. How in the world did you get up here? No time to explain. You've got to save me. He's evil. Why did you bother asking for help if she didn't even have to walk forward? You've interfered with my plans for the last time. Yep, I'm evil. <gasps> what? <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? It was just a pirate in a trench coat. Risky. <laughs> Anything with him. I am him. Why? Ho ho ho. You mean... You were the mayor all along? But why? <laughs> it was a brilliant performance. Yeah, your voice acting's pretty good. Ah... <sighs> uh, the imperfections that make the character, don't you agree? But why, Risky? Why trick everyone like that? Well, you see, years ago I discovered this island. A ship buried deep underground. Years ago? What? Pretty sure years ago you were... You lost all your powers. It was magnificent. A vessel fit for a queen. I simply had to have it. That's what I encountered. The Empress. You're talking about the Seventh Siren. She had a run-in with the genies and robbed of her physical form, so I offered her a deal. An arrangement that would benefit both of us. Uh-oh. Uh, that form looks pretty physical. You were good. You were good as your word, Captain Boots. It's risky, but whatever. A genie life force. For the ship. But th there's only four. I take it the ghost genie's spell is broken. Yes. My physical form has been restored. Oh, okay. Like my siren sisters, I can feed on mortals once more. Make whatever preparations you need. Power down the weapons and prepare to escort the Empress back to her island at once. Uh-oh. The inevitable betrayal. I have an even better idea. This body lives, but it is old and weak. What would you say to a new deal? Your powerful body in exchange for immortality. Yep. Now this. Why is she still all gray and decrepit? What have you done to Risky? Why do you care? Just a little fusion magic of my own. Well, what do you think? Hear me, my soldiers. Turn the ship around. 
going to drain the life force of every living thing on that island. And then, blow it clean off the map. Why didn't she just take over Shante's body? Oh. Uh... Lightning! Where'd she go? Never! Time to take this body for its rest test drive. Well, her... Like, the purple things are all kind of bubbly still. Unless that's just how they are. And also, she's still gray. Now for my legendary technique of mashing one button. Now. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, she's fine. Also, she doesn't even have Risky's body. She just took her life force. Yeah, I guess so. And she's probably Lobster Girl's mom or whatever. It really would have been a good idea. And I don't know why she didn't do it. Why not keep Risky around? She clearly does good work. Although I guess Risky- if, it, if Risky wasn't getting betrayed, she probably would have betrayed her in the end. Good thing I can just shove a bunch of fish in my mouth for health. Well, because she can't take Shante, apparently. Ah. Gonna have such a sore neck from whipping my hair so much. I've been feeling it. Okay, she's dead. Your wrath is over. Mm. You're stronger than I was led to believe. I've killed all of your favorite servants. Alone. <laughs> no matter. I'll simply use all of my power. Fool, that wasn't even 10% of my power. But like right there, why didn't she say time to... Oh no. She blew up the loading screen. She inverted the collars. Oh. Ultra Empress Siren. Queen of the Seven Seas? That's not right. Ow. Pain. Um. What am I aiming for? Ow. The jewel? Oh, her earrings. Or, no, those aren't on her ear. I guess I'm just aiming for the red jewels. Ow. Hello, Surveyor. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, that's a pleasant noise. Alright, I have to break all of her siren attachments to this world. Is the other one down here? Yep or tail or whatever. I guess. They, I don't feel like they've thought this part through. No, this is a good nitpick, honestly. 
I'm literally just fighting a picture. Like, there's no strategy here except punch. Although, I guess that's for everything, really. You punch and hope your rock doesn't move. The HP? The HP hasn't really seemed to be a big issue so far. Where, did I miss one? Well, it is the final boss. I did miss one. Whoops. Just stand near it and press scimitar as she wiggles back and forth. This is the ultimate power, by the way. Also, weren't we in the air? How come this one didn't explode? I mean, I guess it got smaller. <laughs> there we go, that's all of them. Now her head will probably start glowing. Yep, there it is. Oh. Now we only have to deal with the head. Cool. You are now Empress of Nothing! I took away your crown! Oh, falling also hurts you. Uh, even in this fight, gravity is my immortal enemy? No, by accessories! Uh, now I'll be the ugliest siren at the ball. Ah, uh, there's no rocks. Yep, then her forehead. This is also a small nitpick for me. I don't have to use the siren powers here. Like, I had to use it to get out. Although I kind of suspect it wouldn't matter which one I use. But, like... Shouldn't the last part be like, oh, you need to use all of your siren magic together? Am I getting what I want? No, of course not. But no, it's just whip your hair back and forth. Larger than life, achievement unlocked. Hey, I blew up that crown. Get rid of it. This is the final boss. You missed it. <laughs> Sorry, Reeslane, but hello. Hope you're having a good day. And yeah, for the final- they should matter. Like, that's the whole point is we're using fusion magic and I don't you really need it. How? How could you defeat me? Whiskey Boots had you fooled from the beginning. That's our cue! Uh-oh. Uh, she looks like bad news. Listen, it's time to take your magic back. Also, Roddy Tops is here, because, I guess... Is she gonna turn into a genie? That would be the great twist ending. Hurry! Now, use your magic to call the life force she stole from you. Uh... But Roddy Tufts doesn't have any life force. She's a zombie. There, now she's decrepit. My new body! I was invincible! How could I be defeated? 
Not everyone you fed on was a half genie. What? Your new body was rotten to the core. No offense, Roddy Tops. Like none taken. You should watch what you eat. That spell didn't work because the half genie life force was poisoned. Risky Boots lied about everything. You kind of get used to it. Life was an everlasting was mine. Say, even if Roddy Tops... No, I guess there would be five, but... The ship too m took too much damage in the whole, you know, transforming segment of the fight. Get Roddy Tops out of here. Hurry. Okay. What about... What will you do? Empress drained Risky's life force, but the Empress destroyed. Maybe she... There's no time for this. Risky Boots could not have survived. We don't know that for sure. If there's any chance she's alive, I have to find her. You're determined to stay? I understand. Oh good, another everything's exploding escape segment. And good luck. Just like in the last game. Where's Shantae? Do you think she's... Oh, do I not get to do it? But you lost her hat. Nice job. Oh, the hat's back. Never mind. Nice job, Shanti made it. Not only that, she saved Risky Boots as well? Uh, good question. Cause Shanti's a good guy, that's why. And Bolo. You're here too. Where what, Where else would she be? Not just them. Harmony, Plink, and Vera, and Zapple too. Again, where would they be if not here? Every one of us is fully restored and good as new. Not all. I can't tell if she's... Of course she's fine. She's nowhere near you, Risky, but... Of course I am! And all of you better back off right now. Simmer down, sister. Yeah, Shantae just saved your life. Even after you tried to blow all of us up. Pfft. Rob was just playing the part I gave her. What was that supposed to mean? I created the half Genie Festival to lure you all here. So that the Empress could feed on those five other fools. I convinced her that the Runt's life force was inferior and tainted. Not a difficult task given a performance on stage. Well, Risky, you cared about me. You were merely the ace up my sleeve. Kept you nearby in case the Empress tried to pull a fast one. But it's like a childish oaf, you kept getting in my way. Needed to keep these fools caged long enough to drain all five in the proper amounts. Five actual drops of half genie life force, and she really would have become invincible. <laughs> hey, that makes me a hero. I figured once I had the ship, I'd blast the Empress and whatever's left of those sirens into quivering puddles of jelly. All this so you could get yourself a ship? Well, I mean, yeah, have you seen my other one? It's garbage. And why not? I'm the queen of the seven seas. I deserve the very best. A ship that doesn't need a sea. You got rid of those sirens, I got a new airship. Speaking of, where's my airship anyway? There better not be a scratch on it or you'll all pay dearly. Why do you have to be so selfish? Keep hoping against hope that you'll turn over a new leaf. Someday we can work together as a team. Girls. That's exactly what we did. Huh? Man? Eh, oh yeah, we're here too. And make it extra hot this time. Mommy has a headache. Yeah, okay. Don't you dare leave without me. Your bath is this way. Oh, oh, wait, sorry. Hang on. Put me down. Well, you just... Hang on, I'll take care of this. She won't be happy when she finds out about the ship. 
with that behind us, we should make sure everyone's alright. Yeah, there's not a scratch on it. The arena back in town is pretty much ruined, but there's still time to host a half-genie festival somewhere else. Seriously want to resume the festival? Why not? We can move the festival to Tree Town. Hey. Or Armor Town. No, uh, how about not Armor Town? They'll try to merchandise us. We can have four days at Armor Town, and then everything's evenings by Torchlight in Tree Town. Who's with me? Come on. I'm, in. I'm ready for a real vacation. Yeah, maybe I can get a decent room this time. Although I could use more of those corn cob snacks. The crunch in my teeth. And in my stomach, really, it packs a lot of flavor. <laughs> With me on stage will be a sure fire hit. You're not a genie. I'd like to spend some time with those scientists. Let's take this vacation again. The day was saved. <laughs> the end. Get out of here. I, yeah, but she still, like, likes them. In her own way. That's how she treats everybody else. For a first vacation, it sure was a doozy. Mm -hmm. I miss you all so much. Huh? Lobster girl. You have a big job ahead of you. Everyone here needs your help to rebuild. So always do your very best. Uh Oh, okay. Was that a happy and hopeful sigh? I'm not going to say you deserve it. I'm just going to leave. Can you at least give her a moment? She's trying to say goodbye. Who died and put you in charge? Ow, Tyree! That's my hair! Herbert. Can't you two just get along for a second? Stay out of this! Let's see how you like it. I love it! One day he'll learn. Why did she wrap up the book? What was the point of wrapping the book? <laughs> and that's Shante and the Seven Sirens. I kind of thought that might take a little bit longer. Oh, jeez, that's loud. Well, that's the end of Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Overall, it was good. I, there are complaints I have, of course. When is there not? But at the very least, this seems like a step in the right direction for what they want to do. Also, there's all the voice actors right there. Wait, Ross? Ross O'Donovan had a voice? Who did he voice? Hmm. Hmm. Now nah, I can't think of who he would be. Like, I'm pretty sure he wasn't any of the main characters, was he? Maybe he was the mayor. It was Bolo? Dang it. My first thought was maybe he was Bolo, but I was like, no, Bolo already had a voice actor, didn't he? Thanks for playing, if you can call it that. Thank you so much for playing my game! Playtime, almost 8 hours. Item collection, 63%.
Bonus oh, sandwich, gain clear. You unlocked a new mode! That's ominous. Alright, what's the new mode? All right, and this is the the save right before then, so I guess it's a good thing I, you know, saved before then. Uh Yes. Yeah, I figured. All right, what's the new mode? New game plus, more magic but less defense. Hmm. The only other thing to do is 100%. Probably. Hmm, I wonder who gives me the Empress card. It's like, obviously she has one. Yes. I couldn't mess around on this, uh, but... Oh, hey, the mayor's actually gone here. But I'll ask you guys what you would prefer. Should we... Hang out with this and basically just talk, I guess? Also, the bird's here, but not out here? Weird. Or... Uh, should we go and do the extra stuff in Bug Fables? Or something else, I don't care. Uh, going through and figuring out where I haven't gotten a thing is going to be pretty tedious. It's a shame there's not an upgrade for that. Oh, wait, what? It's stuck? Wait, what? Fred, Fred, can no one save us? Can I not go back into the thing? Am I incapable of getting 100%? No, I guess I can. I just can't go down there. See, now I'm here. Can I go out there? Or does it just block me again? I can't help but be curious. You know, personally, I kind of want to do Bug Fables things, just to get that out of the way. But who knows how long that'll take. Oh boy, magic. Thank you so much for making me spin magic for magic. Oof, what would I would have... What could I do without that magic? I'm sure in a speed run that could probably be handy. If they're always the same, at least. It might be random what you get from those plants. Here's a thing I didn't do. And I got this. That's worthless to me. You know, how did you guys... Whether you played it or just watched it, feel about the game. It's like, now it's over. 
I don't think we're going to be coming back to it for a bit. We've already lost 4,000 frames. Well, this thing still exists. I just can't use the one that's by the main town. Weird. Missing an important character? Oh, you must be mean uh, Roddy Top's brothers, right? It is kind of weird that they're missing. But I guess since she wasn't technically invited, then... They weren't technically invited either, and they don't care enough to actually, like, stow away in the luggage. Well, I might be a bit biased since we sped run Half Genie Hero, but I feel like it was a little more. than this game was supposed to be. Anything down here? I don't remember if I went... Oh yeah, I did go down here. I went up here, actually. Well, you're on Twitch. A bat monster? This game also has the same problems that other Shantae games have. Like, all of them are guilty of this. Uh, where I bought things and now I have nothing to spend gems on. Like, there's no, like, super pricey thing out there. Now it's just a grind. You know? I don't even need- I didn't even have good cards on that entire time. Whoops. Tortoise Bash causes higher damage. Refresh Dance will consume less magic. Hmm. It's like now I could put on the slime, I guess, and just always have magic whenever I get money, but. Hair Whip to convert red gems into hearts. They kind of get eaten too fast for that. No damage when destroyed by a pit? Yeah. I should have been using that one this whole time. Boomerangs, Quake Dance, Fireballs, Fireballs, Boomerang, Climbing Speed, Swim with Super Speed, Rockets Travel, Spark Dance, and that heals more, cool I guess. Isn't this one a little redundant? It one-shots them. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this game now that we've done everything. I'll probably go through and 100% in at some other point. But for now... For now, that's it. Hmm? One second. Ah, I see. Sorry, mod things. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyways. Thanks for watching Chante and the Seven Sirens. I think that'll be it for that game at least, but what else should we do? Hmm. It's only been an hour and 15 minutes, so I feel like just being like, alright guys, I'm done, and then leaving would be kind of rude. Kind of rude. But it's also on me for playing a game that didn't take that long to beat. I could have just beat it last time, I guess. Let's see. Meh, let's just play Bug Fables. Why not? I'll just mark this as the Hayes two-parter. Alright, let's see. 
Well, no one has any opinions, unless someone here has clubhouses and wants to fight me. But I doubt it. I don't like Jackbox. Otherwise, I consider it, but I would play it for like 10 minutes and be like, all right, I'm done. Oh, whoops. You don't know what Clubhouse is? All right, hang on. Yeah, I figured you were busy. And I don't think Sivia has it yet. Also, hey, the queen's on the main screen now. That's neat. Yeah. If you have other games... ...that you want to get... Alright, hopefully I got the actual... There we go. Well, it's either that or I play Clubhouse, but I don't know. Well, it depends on if you want to play that. I don't care. I have at least one important thing to do, though. There we go. I drop something. Whoops. Meh, we can play later. I'm not entirely sure what would he, we would even play. It's best to plan those things out first, I guess. I don't know. Well, for those that are here and forgot, uh, we beat the game last time that we played this. And we have a bunch of other things to do, but I'm not going to do any of them. We're going to do the le we're leftover quests, and then that'll be it. Planning, I know. I'm sorry. We never did finish Dokapon or anything. Uh. Here's what we really have to do. All right. You might be a knight, or you might be a failure. Find out today in Might Knight. Well, there's the door. There's a potion. Ow, rude. Saw him trying to sneak up on me? I don't think so. Aha! Got him. Ah, uh, but I don't have time for this. Gotta get the key! No, back off. I don't have time for you nerds! I have to be the hero! There we go. Why are the... Why are the doors actually, like, painted on? Is this whole thing supposed to be like a... Cardboard cutout stuff? Uh, purple guy. And I'm dead. Game over. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess I should put that. Who cares? Uh-oh, you'll get it next time. Here's some tokens for playing. 24 tokens. No, this is Might Knight. The legendary hero of the Termite Kingdom. A 
legend tell of his great accomplishments of defeating those evil ants and spiders. Ow. Uh-oh. Those evil ants that betrayed the termites so long ago were taken down by this valiant knight. And his ability to walk in a straight line in their general direction. Yeah, the way he just shuffles his shoulders back and forth, it's pretty great. What the? How did I hit you on the side and send you to the right? That doesn't make any sense. Uh oh. Got him. What the? Who hit me? Oh no, there were ants behind me! Those fiends sneaking up on a knight? How could they? Such cowardly tactics. But it's fine. I am the hero. I mean, isn't that how you walk? Do you just flip yourself back and forth? Come on, we can do this. Gotta be able to beat it at least once. There's the door. Alright, floor three. Alright, we got him. Some green potions. My thumb is already killing me from mashing the up button so much. Ah, I saw the key. Alright, the key is mine. Ah, another evil spooter. Vile wizards. Thinking they're cooler just because they have eight arms to which to cast, cast spells. Uh, where's the door? If only I had some kind of compass. Aha! If I go in a straight line far enough, of course I'll win. Ow. Rude. Oh! I did it. I thought there was five. Wait a second. Did you have fun? You got 9,886. That's 60, 67 tokens. Here you go. You now have 84 tokens. Wait a second. We didn't beat the high score, did we? No, we didn't. Hmm... I conquered Flappy Bee. I can conquer Might Knight. Ow, dang it. You got me. I have to kill every single vile ant in this dreaded dungeon if we can stop avoiding each other. Aha! Hey, a key. And a potion. Ow, dang it. Oh, I apparently can just hold down up in order to keep going forward. That would have been nice to know. Hey, a door. Ow, rude. But anyways... I don't know why I keep saying but anyways. Oh yeah, the uh, inability to play songs and whatnot is going to be make it pretty difficult to whoop, 
make it pretty difficult to play like art streams and whatnot because we can't just have music in the background anymore. Although I guess maybe I could just use this game's soundtrack. I doubt they'll care. No, I was tapping the whole time to, in order to go forward. Because I'm schmert. I got a 5 on my ACT out of 10, and that means I'm at least half as good as everyone else. Definitely not a failing grade. I'm glad I don't, like, move slower when I have my shield out. I just can't, you know, move. I can't turn. But that's okay. Justice does not need to turn. It is unwavering in its ability to go forward. Alright. Oh. No. Go in front of me, you jerk. Dang it. My unwavering justice was my downfall. Ow, rude. Hmm. Not entirely sure how I keep knocking them sideways. Alright, ow. Also, there's no boss. That's kind of disappointing. You would think there would, you would fight like the queen or something. The ant queen. Aha! Uh -huh. I have achieved victory. Come on. Eight thousand. Ah, oh, I was too slow. I killed too many things. All right, one more time. I know this is probably super entertaining, but please try to hold your laughter as I fail. Ow, date! Don't punch me in the face. I'll drink potions aggressively at you. Come on. Ah! Can't steal my potion. Only heroes can drink those. Oh, stop it! Bam, 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 bam. See that advanced technique of not turning to grab things. All right, we have to go as fast as possible. Forget everything else. I'll kill everything in my way, of course. That's my style. Dang it. Stop aiming at my side. You're not supposed to be smart. Whoa. Aha, the key. Okay. Ow, rude. Aha, I knew it was this way. I could feel it in my termite bones. Do termites have bones? Probably not. They are bugs. Do bugs have bones? I don't know. Ow. I feel like we've asked this question multiple times. Get this potion. Also, I can't help but feel like they're making a joke about worker ants because the little hats the ants are wearing. They kind of look like those classic, like, white folded hats that have the, uh... That they have workers wear in, like, a bunch of movies and junk. From the olden times, if you can call it that. Alright, we were at least a minute faster. Surely that's enough. Dang it! How was I 300 off? Did you have fun? No! I want to win! 
Yeah, I guess just having your bones on the outside still counts as having bones. Whoop. Ah, dang it. Oh well, I got a potion. I can only have fun if I win, Miss Termite Worker. Ow. Oh, do I go faster if I go backwards? Ah, dang it. They're beating me up, Reborn. Help. Aha, I outsmarted him. Not very difficult with his little ant-like brain. Yes, this is my new speed game. Dang it. Forget speedrunning Bug Fables itself. We're speedrunning Might Knight. Of course, I guess part of the speedrun would be just getting to Might Knight. Where's my Bug Fables Might Knight percent? Oh, hey, right in front of the door, too. Wow. Alright, we gotta go fast. I think speed is what gives you the most points. Aha! I saw the key in this direction. I think. Nope, this is the exit. Did I miss the key? Oh no, we're gonna be slow. Yep, it's very slow. Ah. Uh, I could have sworn I saw the key. Did I only see just a potion? Oh, there it is. Hmm, so if I had just taken a left here, I would have gotten it. Dang it. <sighs> Dungeon complete. Oh, we did it! How did I do it? Is it because I murdered? I think it's because I murdered. You have fun? That's 70 tokens. Here you go. 200 tokens. Yes, I got the gamer achievement. It's official now. I'm officially gamer. There. Now I have enough for one more round of Might Night later. We did it. Alright, let's go save the game real quick. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and be honest and blunt. I'm gonna go ahead and look up some of the dun the quest things I have no idea what to do for. Thank you. I'm so proud to finally be a real gamer girl. Uh, but let's see. Our quests are... We're still missing some lore. I'm sure most of these will probably explain that. Uh, Greeny Bumble in the Far Grasslands. I don't know what the wizard needs. I'll have to look it up because, you know, I can't read their stupid puzzles. Oh, there's a thing that just has all the quests. Interesting. Let's see. The 
Nectar from the critters of the land is... Okay, so it is that. Interesting. Alright, I think we have most of these. So for the wizard, we need... Uh... Yeah. Nectar from critters of the land. Fruit that blooms where there's no life and essence of frost itself. Like the other, the first two are pretty, you know, easy. Uh, question is, do I have any? I got tangy berries. No. Yeah, let's just go to the eat thing. Go to sleep, Reslane. Don't listen to my voice while you go to sleep, though, or you'll explode. Hello, Team Snakebath. I was hoping you would be the ones to take my request. What's up, Yin? He's become a pupa? Ugh, yeah, after the ceremony she just woke up like this. She should mature soon, then. I doubt it. You see, uh, I've been researching Yin. And now she is Yang. In the first place, she shouldn't have be been a caterpillar for so long. Are you worried she'll get stuck as a pupa? I wish. Yeah, but I've got a theory. A game theory. After you enter the far grasslands, head west and then keep walking north. I'll explain everything there. Gotcha, we'll meet up there. Uh, don't keep us waiting, okay? Pleasant as always. I wonder if Leaf is immortal now. Or always was. Uh, so now we have two things in the far grasslands, but we're gonna go to... Another place that I totally remember the icon for, it's this one. Okay, this is where we can get some ice. Isn't that nice? Is it weird to think, yeah, I can get ice at the desert. I'm sure it won't melt or anything. I want to take out. Do I have any things? I have an egg. Very... Nope, I do not. Okay. Cool. Hello, I would like to buy some- No, I don't want to buy your Bond Berries. Do I look like a James to you? Yes, I'll take your magic eyes. Can you see every item I have? Uh, nothing really good. Whoops. I've got dark cherries, burly tea, clear water, burly berry, aphid egg, dark cherries, magic seed, berry smoothie, tangy berry, or tangy juice, tangy pie, tangy berry, tangy berry, tangy berry, tangy spud, poison dart, tangy berry, and burly tea. In my actual inventory, I have all of these. And if you want to see these, I've got ribbons. Still never found out where this mysterious piece goes. I've got the compass, platinum card, heart berry. I guess I should have eaten that already. And all this junk. And I have the bed bug. I... <laughs> I think I bought the bed bug and then never used it. Okay, so we need to go to where there is no life, so that would be the... ...someplace. Let's see, I do have a map. Map of Bagaria. let's see... Ancient Castle, Rubber Prison, Giant's Lair, Fishing Village, Wild Swamplands... Lost Sand, Gary Outskirts, Termite Capital, Forsaken Lands. We need to go down there. Now, why did you ask to see all of my items? Do you know where these ribbons go? Or the mysterious piece goes? Okay, Termite Kingdom is... this one. For the party member I'm missing...
that would drastically change everything about the game. I forgot about that. Alright, I need... You are all beneath me. Hey, a dart. I need a single squash. Hello, Mimic Spider. Ah! Okay. Nope, nope, nope. What? How am I supposed to get the party member I'm missing? Do I read all the bad books? Now we need to go to this one. Chomper Cave? Oh, come back when I actually have money. Whoops. Uh. Uh. Stupid shop asking me about money. I have money. I'm the richest bug in the land. Oh, right. I don't know what Chomper Cave is. Okay, we need to go out, we need to go to the bank. First time I'm gonna... ...go into my life savings. Well, probably not the first time, but... I've definitely left more money in there than I've spent. Of course it is. Alright, I'll go there. After we turn in this spider quest. Oh, welcome, it's you. You have almost 2,000 berries. How much do you want? I'll take 100, please. Thank you. Well, actually, I guess I'm going to the Golden Settlement. I'll grab the item I need and then go to the path, I guess. I know, this for emergencies only, but this is an emergency! How else will I get the do? You wouldn't judge me if I spent 1,000 berries on Mountain Dew, right? I gotta get the Baja Blast before it goes out of production. Like every other type goes through. I guess that's not true, there's still a big handful of them. Alright, is this the golden path? Is that where I am? I am. Alright, where have I not been on the golden path? I found it. I think Code Red is still around. Logbook updated. You know, I always considered coming down here and I never did. I think Code Red is still around, Baja Blast... Um... What was the orange one called? Hey, thing. Berserker Metal! How the type by three it makes them unable to use skills, blocking items, relay, or be relayed to. They can only attack. Only attack. Only punch. Um, wasn't there one that was, like, wired or something? And then there was... I can't remember. We've talked about all these before, but I can't remember most of them. I saved it. Hello, goodbye. Hmm. I can't help but wonder if I have these guys in my book. Yeah, I do. 
Chompers. Hello, baby Chomper. Goodbye, baby Chomper. Hey guys, Venus here. I understand you have to reason, but you really have to come and wreak havoc here. Yeah? The Chomper Mom. This wasn't even a bounty. Am I going to be bullying the Mother Chomper? <gasps> I almost got eaten! This thing ain't messing around! She keeps spitting Chompers out! I think I'm going to beat her up first. Alright, now am I going to just bully them or will this be a fight? The answer is yes. More chompers! Oh. Well. I feel bad. I'm just beating up these poor innocent things. Hmm. Hmm. It's like they didn't do anything wrong except exist in my vision. But after you take out a king, what else is there? Ow. Well, you know what they always say. You can't chomp a chomper. No. Oh. Can I block her ability to make a child? Oh, I'm asleep. Both of them are asleep. Uh-oh. I can't do my move if they're all sleeping. Hmm. Unbelievable! Ow! Oh no, I can't block if they're asleep! Is he gonna wake up? No, of course not. Well, it's up to you, Kabu. Leaf and Veer sleeping on the job. Ow. Okay, didn't expect to get chomped. I thought this would be easy. Little did I know my rust is getting to me. And I can't spend my th things. Nah. I'll demoralize her by destroying her child. Stop making V go to sleep. She gets enough sleep as is. Gonna ruin her sleep schedule and everything. Uh oh. Oh, well, he's dead. Hmm. I can't believe I'm losing to a boss I should have fought like a year ago. But in my defense, everyone went to bed. I'm not really sure that is a defense. Ah, uh, just bring him back, who cares. I'm alive, kind of. Don't play for a week and you forget everything you were gonna do in life. What? What was that? That is true, it is after the credits, but... 
I don't feel like it's accurate that I can use everything, but I'll use my shared stash. Alright, makes a child. Makes a little baby chomper. No! Dang it! Well... This could be worse. I'm not entirely sure how it could be worse, but that just assures me that it could be worse. What is happening? Why did it dance and then gain defense? Are these still napping away? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Kabu can't attack you unless your children are dead. Also, ow. Also, ow, Kabu's dead now, so now it doesn't matter. <sighs> I'm apparently too rusty to exist in this plane anymore. Well, time to do my old strat of nothing. Now. What decides if she's gonna shoot one or three? They just always shoot three. I hope you guys missed this game. This may be the last time we see it for a bit. Unless I decide to actually go in and... Oh no! Oh, they're asleep. Oh, she's awake. Oh, he's not awake, but he restored six health, so that's pretty good. Unless I decide to actually speedrun this, but I doubt I will, because it's an RPG. I mean, it wouldn't be impossible or anything. I was wondering if it'd be fun. Ooh, I wonder if this will be on uh, Games Done Quick, actually. Summer Games Done Quick Online. This game would be pretty easy to do, right? Ow. Dang it. Also, it ultimately comes down to, are you good at blocking? Chances are... Is it up to me, though? Can't block if he's asleep, as it turns out. Hurricane! How'd that not kill her? Oh, dang it. I'm dead. V. Leaf, wake up! No! Stop putting me to sleep! No! Stop it! She's already asleep! Oh, she's awake. Oh, he's also awake. How dare you ruin my nap time! Alright. He's just dead. Just melts. Oh, I'm so glad I got experience for that. Also so glad I could restore 4 HP by doing nothing. Then, I'll do nothing. It's weird, isn't it? This whole fight, V and Leaf were sleeping away. And yet, Kabu's the one who ended up taking a real dirt nap. Alright, we did it. What did we do? I got zero points! Hooray! They're all dead. What is this? You found a chomper seed! A baby chomper seed! Maybe scientists will know what to do with this. Scientist? 
Hmm. Hey guys, Venus here. Okay, well now we have a scientist to talk to. And a scientist would be at the Bee Kingdom. I think. We needed to go there anyways to talk to that painter. Oh, right. I always forget I have to talk to you and not the elevator. Uh, sir, why are you talking to the elevator to tell it to go up and down? Isn't that what I was supposed to do? No, I, I'm the one who presses the buttons. Uh, let's talk to the scientist first. Who was in the opposite direction. Mm. Oh, wait. They're also a scientist. We should go before we make her faint. Wait, what is that? Uh, what? That! Hand it over! Uh, chopper seed? That seed! Could it be? If only Hawk was here, he could examine it. He had... He is still in the desert. What's taking him so long? Go after him. Hawk. Mm. Found it yet, V? Yeah, he won't budge, though. Sorry. Right. I feared this would happen. Listen up. Boyfriend lives in the Ant Kingdom. Knows his way around. Certain groups. He'll know what to do. Boyfriend's a... Boyfriend's a pretty vague description. We have similar tastes. You'll know when you see him. Go on. Get your pays waiting. I'm charging extra for the double trip. Okay, so now we have to go to the Ant Kingdom. Ugh. This game loves sending you back and forth. So now I gotta go to the desert, find Hawk. And then I have to go to the Ant Kingdom, find Boyfriend. With similar taste. Can't just give me a name. Also, I don't even remember where the spider is. The spider wizard. Also, who's Hawk? That's probably a thing I should have asked first. Hmm, I wonder if I could just fly across that. Alright, that goes to the Wasp Kingdom, so that's not where I need to go, I think. Although there is that one quest, I think, that needs me to go to the Wasp Kingdom. Hmm, actually, I wonder if the doors are open now. I'll go check later. Now that we've... Now that we've, like, rescued the kingdom. I wonder if they're all, you know, happy now. Hmm. Aha! A thing I never got. This camera does not enjoy this. The moth I thought of first? Did I think of a moth? I feel bad for being this powerful. No! Or maybe they're over here. Might as well check. Nope, this goes to that one cave. That's very descriptive. Did I ever go in here? Is that even a thing I can go into? No, it is. Oh, wait. Well, I can go in there. Was there some other reason I needed to be in here and I've forgotten that I already did this? Nope, here we go. Oh. Yeah, okay, this is just the way across. Hello. 
No, nope, no one's here. I also don't even need to do that anymore, so I can just fly. I did forget about that. Of course I did. When do I ever remember anything, whoever you are? Anywho. I'll probably find something to talk about so it's not just super boring. With me playing a game. But I don't know what to talk about. I can always go to my default, but everyone's probably bored of talking about that. I'm going the completely wrong way, aren't I? There's a chomper. Nothing in here. And now we're back at the Golden Settlement! Hope you all enjoyed our tour of the desert! That takes you nowhere. Stupid sand castle and all this other nonsense. It's just a child's play place. Are you... They're the shopkeepers. Hmm. So we went around the circle and found nothing. I don't remember where the spider wizard is either. But we'll find them eventually. That one's probably on the map, at least. And we're back out here. I'm gonna go to the Lost Kingdom. See if I can go in there. That's probably where they are, too. Hmm. Hey, hey, I made it. We could have escorted you, you know. It's okay. You would have forgotten what you were doing. I gotta be brave to rescue Sis. Allow us to accompany you from here to the Lost Kingdom, at least. Uh, Alright, let's go. It'll be fine. Just stay behind us. Well, hey, look. We're going to the Lost Kingdom anyways. Uh, maybe? I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Most games don't really think about that. Hello, Wasp Kingdom guard. Tea Snake Mouth. Enjoy your time in the Wasp Kingdom. Thanks for kicking my butt earlier. There she is. Sis, get, get away from here, you you kidnapper. Sorry, what? 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 Kidnapper? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You stole her sister. W what? But Rebel is my... Rumble, what the heck? You're ruining my date. Date? With a wasp trooper? Oh dear. You have a date? You didn't say anything. I thought you'd... I was trying to do something spontaneous for fun, okay? It's true. I invited her here and she said yes. Uh, well, it's true that the wasp kingdom's open to everyone now, but... Who cares about all those politics? We just want to be together. Why didn't you tell me? I, uh... I thought you wouldn't approve, so... Of course I do. You support me in everything. Why, your sister is cool, Rebel. We're sorry for this misunderstanding. No, it was my bad. I should have told you, Brumble. Guess everything's fine, then. Would you mind if I stayed around? Just check the kingdom out. It's like, sure, there's some cool places I've got to show you. Thanks for caring about Rebel so much. Here's a little something. Oh, well, thanks. You're a cool dude. Sorry for the scare. <laughs> I get that a lot. Well, get going now, then. Take care. Glad you didn't kill me during that time I was mind-controlled or whatever. Oh, Kabu looks so sad. 
Oof, we ruined the date. Hello. I know there's no need to patrol, but I can't help it. It's almost like it was coded into me. Such a beautiful floor. I wish the elder would come with us. Oh, right. The roaches are everywhere, too. Hey, look. There's the three. And the exit of the house for now. Make yourself comfortable. For now. Hey, Ultimax, how's it going? I would like to apologize for everything. I hope you... I, I hope you... Ma, uh, whatever. I'm a reasonable bug. And thank you, Leaf, for freezing me and not something worse. It's okay. I can't kill anyone. That would raise this game's rating. Alright, anything hidden in here I didn't get? Secret badge behind the queen's bed? I wonder if he's still sad he doesn't have a tank anymore. Like, hypnotized or not, having a tank is just one of those things where you're like, Yes, I did it. I've accomplished something in life. I have my own tank. I bet he's still sad. Hey, hey, they let me in. I can hang around Wasps all day. Oh, right, she's the creepy girl. The one who's like so into wasps, it's not even funny. I if I mind more stew. Ah, it's my heroes! Lucy, you come back to your homeland. Yep, not the meat's home. When it's a piece, anyways. Gotta keep selling stew, it's super good. Yep, it's really my passion. We all pleasure to keep eating it. <laughs> Help yourselves, my heroes. Rangers, come for a stew. Oh, I'll be around. It's weird that not more people actually accuse you of being rangers. Considering how popular they are and how we are literally just them without helmets. Outside of Kabu, of course. Alright. Well, where am I supposed to go? I don't want to just meander around for two hours, even though that's the name of every stream. Wander around for two hours and hope that something, somewhere, accomplishes things. Alright, I don't... See, I did go this way last time. Nothing here. But I didn't go to the right after this big pathway here. Yeah. If only I was a little bit faster. There we go. Who needs walkways when you can fly? Nothing here. Anything up here? There's the sand castle. Anybody researching the sand castle? Oh no. I have the feeling I don't need to be at the sandcastle. But who knows? Maybe I do. And maybe there's something I missed. Hey guys, Venus here. Hmm. If I did miss something, it would probably be at the very end. If I need to be here. More roaches. The thieves hide out. Well, let me look in here real quick. Maybe there's some secret mummification thing. Nope. That's where we got the thing. Alright, I didn't miss any dig spots either. Because I'm sure there's still a bunch of crystal berries I'm missing. I almost said crystal gems. I was like, wait, no, that's redundant.
It is weird to know that that show is also done, too. And we'll probably never get anything else out of it, which is probably a good thing. Gets harder the further the game you are? Hmm. How hard does it get when I'm near the end? Or, well, I'm actually past the end, I guess. There actually is a post-game in, in here. Also, I guess, hello, future Sivia. More tedious. Great. The illusion of difficulty. Right, I believe the thieves' hideout was... so. Oh. My research points are relic in the area, but I hit a dead end. Could there be a path I haven't noticed yet? I don't know, is there? Is this Hawk? Okay. So I'm guessing I have to do whatever the research is. Okay, I've got an idea then. Come back, whatever you were. There it is. There we go. As expected. I'm not actually sure I needed to hit that thing, but I did anyways. Tardigrad Shield Metal. Sturdy skill. Increases defense against status immunity for one turn. Huh. Neat. That would have been helpful against a guy that was setting me on fire. Ah, this is it. Last Tardigrade. Legends say these bugs can live for countless generations. Not that I've ever seen one. Great place to put a statue, right? Maybe this place looked much different, and only the relic was still the test of time. Hey, at least we found something we can use here. A metal, huh? This is metal covered in dust. Fascinating. I have to write up a hefty report. Should we uh, hand it over? No way! Mmm, would you mind testing properties of the field? I don't really mind if you keep it. I got data I wanted already. Cool. Thanks, Hawk. Well, that about wraps it up for me. Head back to the hive. Let's meet again. Alright, so now I have to go back to the hive, right? Ugh. Tedious. Now well, it's my fault for not doing their quest sooner. Did I miss any things up here? No. Okay. Hopefully. That's ominous. And then this way. We have so many extra quests to do, it's my fault for not doing a bunch of them. Or just missing them. Like, we should have beat- we should have been able to clear out the lore before, you know, the game ended, right? But nope. Though I guess that stands to reason, like, how much... How much they put into this game. Oh, the hawk is back, wonderful. He said you helped him. Yeah, did we get a reward? No way! You already have my stolen prototype, and you want more. Ugh. Come on, V. He's helping his, his, own, his own reward. Yeah, I heard it before. Ah, you're so ungrateful. But I actually do have something for you. As long as you're willing to gather some more data for me, take this. The ADBP. Here's the amount of times some beamering, beamering skills can hit. Ah, I'm beginning to see why V is the most powerful. Ugh, more data stuff? That's so boring. Just be grateful. I'll let you keep the prototype out long. Get out before I lose my patience. Wait, what is that? Uh, what? Wait, we already did this. That's a chomper seed. Indeed, it was left behind by a mother chomper. Fascinating. Do you know how much uncommon it is for seeds that not bloom immediately? Uh, not very. Ah, come here! Have I heard you quickly? You actually found an unhatched chomper seed? Indeed, but it's this, maybe. Yes, yes, maybe we can make it work. What? What'll work? Shut it and watch, come here. 
I've been preparing this for years. In front of you, you see what I call a chump of that. That's just a huge chunk of glass. Shh. This is a place of compact environment where chompers thrive. With this, we can plant a seed right here in the lab. So you wish for a pet chomper? Pet? I don't have time for that. This is science. We could somehow study how the chompers are born and their lifestyles outside of chomping bugs. It would help us understand them more and maybe even pacify them in the future. Sure, I really don't get how though. Is it worth it? Just getting them to stop attacking travelers is a huge boon in the bugdom. Can't study them without great risk, but here we can observe them easily. In a very safe environment that they won't chomp through. We do find chompers cute. Here's hoping it works. That's what I like to hear. There's a moment of truth. Chopper! It lives! Ah, such a cutie. I impressive! This chopper looks a bit different though, doesn't it? Hmm, my guess is this is... You said that you got the seed from a mother chopper? Yeah, it was a super big, super strong mama chopper. I only assumed the smaller one was supposed to be the next in line for the position. Choppers do have a weird hierarchy system, but it isn't too far apart from how those bugs do it. They have their mother, we have our queen. Me, me. Maybe it's because she's still young, but she seems very peaceful. Hmm, I suppose there's some sort of impin imprinting on the chopper too. Doesn't seem like it'll turn violent. Brought the seed here, would you care to name it? Really, can we? It's only fair, we owe this incredible specimen to you. I'm bad with names anyways, go on, name it. <gasps> we get to name it? What do we name it? Uh. Chompy's a good one, to be honest. Reborn, what do we name it? You guided us. <sighs> hmm. Of course it's up to me. Well, I mean, V would probably name it Dollar Sign. I'm also really bad at names. Alright, what would each character name it? And then we'll combine those. Hmm. V would probably name it something about money. Its own reward. Uh, Kabu would name it Justice. <laughs> Probably not just Justice, but something that invokes the power of justice. Something powerful. Leaf would probably just name it Cute. Hmm. So it would probably still be Chompy. Hmm. I'm also really bad at names, though. I usually just put in random letters and hope it sticks. Or make stupid jokes like Liago or Debesti, for instance. Hmm. All right, I got it. That should be good enough, right? What do you think of Cassie? Cassie the Chomper. Has, uh, it's named after the... Cassidane? 
a subfamily of the leaf beetles. I figured it's a leaf. Uh, they are. They have a subspecies that are known for being gold, and Cassie is cute. It's also a type of beetle, so. Cassie, are you sure about that? <laughs> Very well, I have another favor to ask you. Ugh, you're gonna have to start paying. This is the payment. Why don't you go out in the field with this chomper and gather data on beha behaviors? How's that a reward? You want us to babysit a dangerous monster. Don't call it a monster. <laughs> Seems to have taken a liking to you three. It should be mostly harmless. Maybe if she lives alongside Bugs, she can grow and become a peaceful mother chomper. We don't even care if you don't agree, V. We're doing it. It's too cute to leave here. Ah, fine. I guess it is a bit cute. Isn't it? I cannot wait to share stories with it. It's settled. Come here and take it out for a walk when you can. Just bring her back in the vat whenever, too. Count on us, Professor. We'll ensure a bright future for this chomper. Treat Cassie carefully. It's a quickly earned by love. Hmm. Give ribbon. Uh Let's give it the shocking ribbon. Cause gold. The bow is important. That is pretty adorable. I love how it walks around little tippity taps. I'm kind of glad we didn't fight the king with it, though. <laughs> it would have died. Well, we did that. Hooray. Party complete. And now we have the... Oh, right. I'm in the air, so I can't dig out of here. And now we have whatever the bows are for. I guess I should save, but I, will, I can save later. It even jumps with us, great. Hawk could have left again, oh no. Well, I'm sure when Sivia sees this part, she's gonna explode. Maybe we should have a Cassie emote. Champier. Been in the party, we haven't even been in a fight, and I'm already like, we, this is our new mascot. Little Chompy. Cassie the Chompy. Uh, what else was I doing? Oh, yeah. Are my explosions contagious? N n no, you have nothing to worry about, Taco Jet. Please enjoy the stream. Uh, and be sure to take the red and green, not the red and yellow, the red and green uh, pills on your way out to prevent any accidents that may occur. <clears throat> so, you know, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Hmm. How graduate of Chomp you. All over, huh? Thank you. Enjoy peacefully now. Okay. Let's see. Huh, <laughs> took my request, huh? Well, I suppose you know what to do then. Striders, skirt of the seas. See, I used to love the sea until one of them took my eye. Ouch. Now I just want my revenge, but I have no way of fighting them, so please go to my place. Give them anger. Are you sure we need to beat them? Yes, beat ten of them. That should teach them. They're all over Metal Lake, so you need a way, you need a way to go through the water. Your war is waiting for me. Waiting is here, waiting for me when the task is done. Sounds like an easy job. And Chompy can eat them. I don't know why I keep calling her Chompy. Sorry, Cassie. Is there a reason to put her back in the? In the caves, though? I guess if you just don't want her around. But, but who would ever want, not want that? I am sad we didn't get it sooner, though. Hmm. 
Maybe it evolves after so many fights or something. Yep. Looks like there's only a few medals left over there. Hey, Reed. V, what do you want? Uh, are you already his boyfriend? Yeah, I am. What's it to you? Looking for trouble, Chubby? We're doing a request for her. She asked us to get the blackest paint. Guy that has it doesn't want anything to do with us. I see. I know she wants the paint, but really didn't want her to get involved with that guy. Maybe a tough guy, but she is, she's my soft spot. Wouldn't want her to get into trouble. Since you're going to her place, suppose I could assist you. Used to know the guy, but we've had a fallen out. So I couldn't get the paint from him anyway. Probably do something horrible to me if I went by myself, but he still owes me a favor from long ago. So here, give this to him. No, from read to, to tenant. You should, shouldn't read it if you know what's good for you. No, you dare open it. Contains sensitive info. Info for his eyes only. Give that to him and don't ask questions. He'll give you the paint. You know, just saying that makes us even more curious. Uh, Leaf, don't, alright? Wouldn't want to never be able to sleep again knowing something could happen to us. Listen, just do this and everything will end without issues. Can trust you with that, can I, V? Yeah, yeah, I know, Reed. Just leave it to me. Good. This is so shady. Dang it! I was hoping it was another Paper Mario reference. Because in Paper Mario, there's, uh... A diary you can get from on the train or whatever. I think we actually did it when I played that game. But you can read it and it'll kill you. I think the first one also has something like that, but I don't remember what it was. I was kind of hoping we could read it and, you know, die. I guess that would be too far. Alright, let's get this stupid black paint. Oh yeah, where's the spider? I should look at my map. That's not a map. This is a map. Let's see. Rubber prison, giant slayer, fishing village, wild swamplands. Uh, Lost Kingdom, Far Grassland, Lost Sands... Hmm... Was it in the outskirts? Probably. Well, it's been another hour. Oh yeah, this guy also wanted something. I've already forgotten what it was. Wanted me to punch him or something. What do you want? Huh, we got a response. Kind of. Fine. Here's the paint. I do this favor read, not for you. A can full of the blackest paint ever made. You can't even see light reflected on it. No longer have any business between us. Leave. Gee, what a moody fellow. Well, we've got the paint. Let's deliver it. He seems friendly. curious if there's extra dialogue that would have been in the game for us having our little chomper. We'll never know. He's so nice. 
You have taken that shady note. I really want to know what it said, though. Found it yet, V. Ah, so that's the blackest, darkest pain. Yes, I can feel it. It's like I'm staring into the deep abyss. Hope it's worth the pay. Jewelry is for denizens of the light. I have no need for it after having su seen such darkness. Seems like a fair trade, the brightest object for the darkest one. <laughs> Soon, Juan's art reign will be over and art will begin. Yeah, I doubt that. I'm just glad we didn't end up in trouble for this. Yeah. Kinda always afraid something's gonna stab me in the back. Alright, the queen doesn't want to talk to me. An extra thing we also never did is- I keep forgetting this is a button. Huh? Yeah, I know of. I've been thinking it's a bit weird seeing so many bee guys, but only one explorer. Look, they're not guards because they wanted to be or anything, okay? They were born to be guards, so they guard. That's it. That's a bit somber. That's just how the hive is sometimes. Like, there's so much extra dialogue and we've been ignoring all of it. my thing was... Hang on, I have another... Okay. Hmm? Wait a second. Oh, right! That stupid book! I never got it! There's a stupid lore book right here! Open the door, dang it! Ugh. There has to be a way in there. I found a fortify metal! It was an ally's defense for two turns, neat. Come on, there's a door right there! Ah, uh, but I can't go into the abyss? Is this what you're telling me? dig? Uh, probably. Nope, I can't dig. I can't dig in that spot. I can dig here. Can I dig under the door? Nope, I can't dig here either. Darn it. There must be some quest reward. Yeah, I can't dig on buildings. Probably because I would realistically fall through them, but... so? Who cares about that? Also, look at all these medals I keep finding. Uh, if only I had done nothing but evolve my metal points, maybe we could use them. Alright. What other quest do I have? I need to go find the spider. Get that over, done and over with. I think it's out here? I should have all the items in my inventory unless I accidentally ate one. Which is entirely possible, because V gets hungry, and I'm not entirely sure that everything from her secret stash is stuff that just exists in there. And not something she grabbed secretly from our actual inventory when I wasn't paying attention. There's that guy. Eh. This must be pretty boring, I guess, guys. We'll probably call it soon, regardless of how many quests I have done, and then we'll do another extra thing later. Or I'll just do it off stream, but... That's probably only going to be the case for a few things. Go on. Like, Shantae would be super boring, so I'll probably do that off stream. If I even bother. 
Hmm. Dang it, I guess I'll have to look up where he is. Let's see. I wish it told me where he was. And the wizard doesn't even have his own thing. Nope, there he does. He just isn't. Okay, he's in the far grasslands. Wow, I'm dumb. I knew it was somewhere grassy, but... I was like, oh yeah, the outskirts of Bagaria are pretty grassy, right? No, not. <sighs> hey, hey, coming through. Oh, wait, wrong button. I just wish I knew how to improve the improve the shrim to be enjoyable all the time. But I guess that's really just not possible. Doesn't even matter which stream it is. Like someone's gonna oh. <sighs> not everywhere. You can't just have grass everywhere reborn. Like in the deadlands. Like there's no grass there. I do like how satisfied Cassie looks at like almost all times. A little smile on her face. Yeah, I did it. I wonder if I'm not allowed to escort people unless I have... If I don't have Cassie around. Okay, this goes to the Wasp Kingdom. Over here should be the spider, I think. Maybe? I hope I'm not wrong. Oh, right, I have to go above it. I think? Or do I go under it? Oh, there it is. And there's an invisible wall! Gosh darn invisible walls. What to talk about? I don't know. Like, part of me does want to go and talk about the Naruto stuff, but... I feel like there's not really too much to really talk about, except... That I kind of get why I died. Why everything kind of went poorly. After a bit. But that might be talk for later. When there's more people around. Whoop. See, this way, I don't remember. Okay, that looks... This goes right into the... Yeah, this goes into this area. The wild swamp lands. Which we do have a quest here too, I guess, but eh. I wanted to go to the stupid spider. Where's my spider's house? Oh well. At least I can fly now, so this place is a lot easier. To traverse. Oh yeah, I forgot about the nin the ninja beetles. Also, what am I supposed to be doing here? I think Kabu's the one that asked me to come here. But... I don't know if I needed to come from, like, the real entrance, or... I probably have to go to the end, where the, uh... Okay. Oh, hey. Where the beetle is. Or the centipede was. Hey guys, Venus here. Here to tell you all about that stuff you did. 
Here it is. Oh no. Also, Cassie's here too. Master, bit. I really did it. I found the everlasting sapling. Even though it's only because of your sacrifice. My new friends cannot replace you, but they're good. I wish you could have met them. Wow. Are we only good? Bit, you would have thought Leaf was so cool and probably funny. Oh, thanks. Master, you would have scolded V so much. Hey. Those meetings that I cannot happen, I wish to keep them in my heart. I'll come back to visit. Rest easy now. Thank you both for waiting. This is a big weight off my chest. No problem. Let's go. Even with that beast gone, there's no place to lounge around. Yeah, until next time. Hmm. Quest complete. But now I'm sad. And now we're here. There is no fear. Okay, this is where the three boulders are. Now we're at the Wasp Kingdom. No, oh, okay. Ah. Can't just flap my wings. Oh yeah, I did have a random question. Uh, why doesn't Leaf carry Kabu on his giant ice block? Like, when the Queen was with him, sure. Like, she wasn't gonna be carried by V, but... But why doesn't Leaf carry Kabu now that they're not... They're not being followed by the Queen. I mean, I guess he has Cassie now, but... V could probably carry her pretty easily, right? I bet it's this way, because I started going this way and then I turned around. So this is probably the correct way to go. No, nope, this is the fishing village, okay. No, don't give me the... the game design answer. I want the deep lore answer. I bet the deep lore is that Kabu doesn't like sitting on cold things. I I get cold very easily, and it just, it messes with my my wings. It's only through sheer determination that I'm able to walk on ice. Alright, where is this stupid spider? It's not even a stupid spider, it's probably the smartest spider. Because it didn't try to kill me. Then we would have had words. Words such as, ah, please don't kill me, and dang it, I'm dead. Things like that. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really find anything about, like, actual directions. There's no one- no one's gone out of their way to make a full-on map of this game, which is probably a good thing. Ow, dang it. Although, I'm sure the developers probably had, like, a collective one they made. Hmm, maybe it actually is on the other map. Let's see. Bandit Hideout, Ancient Castle, Wasp Kingdom, Wild Swamplands... Oh... And there's nothing on, like, the drawn map either. Maybe it's down here? Maybe I walked right by it? Wouldn't that be fun? 
I mean, we would have to have gone to the wild swamplands anyways. Don't worry, I found it. I walked right by it. Of course I did. Why would I not? Oh, you find all ingredients? Blimey, you actually got them! Ah, quick, I had to hand them over. Boom. Yes, yes, I can feel the magic of this brew. You really did help me. As thanks, I shall bestow a great power upon you. You three, Bluey, you can use magic, right? And you got a fun toy, kid. How did you... Oh, right, sorcerer. Yeah, we got ice magic. Perfect. Now we're in the darkness. Master this technique. Leaf and V can now use the frost relay skill in battle. Where that, eh? Whoa, I just learned stuff all of a sudden. This power is incredible. W what about me? Chin up, Beetle. You'll figure one out. I'm gonna go back to work now. Get your, uh, welcome to visit. Thank you. Now that's a reward. Stay as long as you want. Just don't take any books. Don't take any books, eh? What about this one? Blimey, that book's garbage. Take it with you. Oh. Ugh, if it's bad, I don't want it. Too bad. You want to rummage through my stuff? Take the garbage, too. Hmm. Maybe Reeves will take an interest in it. We Oh, I was kind of hoping it would let me drop in. Alright, well we got another skill we could have gotten like an hour ago, but whatever. Ah, I'm so lazy. Understandable. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I can't do it when I'm on the table. Why? I guess it's because they don't want you to see the models spinning through the table. And then they have to explain why there's a hole in the table. Let's turn in this bad book. I think it's the last one, right? Yeah, this is one of the worst ones. Let's see. That cover. Axis invert. No, this one's too awful. Sir, please remain calm. This is the library. This book was perfect. Such a beautiful story. Credible prose. Tight pacing. Amazing characters. And it's a bad book. It was all a dream. And then the rock crushes the main character. Oh yeah, that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I've had to deal with a few of those stories before. Ugh. Yikes. This is too much, even for me. I'll destroy it later. <laughs> Thank you for everything, explorers. Here's my last reward. Uh, I hope you enjoyed them. Let's say I did, shall we? I'll see you around. Aren't those the worst types of stories? You get so invested in it and it's just a dream. Or it just doesn't matter at all. Ugh. Oh yeah, I was given a way to watch Rick and Morty, uh, Season 4, which I've heard nothing about. Like, no one's been talking about it at all. But this reminded me of it, uh, and spoilers, I guess. So, real quick, does anyone care about spoilers? For, like, Episode 6? Maybe? Or was it 8? I haven't watched that many. I haven't watched all of them, but... Uh... There's a whole segment. Well, I guess I'll wait until someone actually responds. No! <laughs> that would be awful! 100% the game and reveal that everything was a dream. The Wasp King wakes up in a cold sweat. It's like, <gasps> oh man. I really don't want to be king, do I? Otherwise I'll get beaten up by the rangers. Uh, but in Rick and Morty or whatever. And skip this, I guess, if you're watching the VOD. And don't want to hear it. Also, can I buy all the rest of these? Okay, there is a limit. That means I can buy them all. Neither wasp nor king. 
Just a man. A man who put on the masks. No one cared who he was until he put on the crown. And then his fear was everlasting. Anyways, uh, there's a part in Rick and Morty where they have a silent segment. You know, the typical thing they do. Uh, but the whole premise is that Morty has a controller that can save a game, and, or save the universe, and then uh, reload to that point. Eh, it looks like you bought everything I had. Sure you are great meta collectors. Uh... And then there's a silent segment after he messes with it a bunch where he saves the he saves and then he opens a door for a girl and then they go in and talk and they have this whole dramatic relationship thing. And like they even have like points where she interacts with the family but she never says anything. They never say anything ever. Uh, also, with, is there points in there? Oh, there is. Uh, and of course, as expected, the button gets pressed, but not after, not until after, they have this whole segment where they crash in a plane and have to, it's basically out of that one movie where they, they crash and have to eat each other. Uh, but they get rescued, and then they go back, and then of course someone presses the button on accident, and he goes back to before he met her. And it just made that entire, entire thing feel awful. It's not quite a, hey, it was all a dream thing, but it was definitely a point where I was like, I have to, I can't watch the rest of this. This is awful. Hey, it's been a crazy adventure, huh? Yeah, Jin. You really saved us from Team Snake Man. Wait, from Team Snake Man? You really helped us a bit more and be a bit more confident, too. We'll do our best. Um. Why do they have points above their head? Am I supposed to do something with them? But yeah, the bad book reminded me of that. Because nothing that we got invested in mattered. And it was really, really sad. And we'll probably never see that character again. Except maybe in the background crying. Um... Y give it back! Huh, punk? FOE's mask! The leaf mask you stole! Heh, <laughs> we put that in the vault long ago. Even if we didn't, we're not gonna give it back. Yeah, punk, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Uh, I'll beat you up. I'll really do it. <laughs> You're gonna fight us, punk? Gonna fight us with your shaking legs? You ain't getting that mask back, worm. Just forget about it. Oh. I really can't do it. I'll never get back his mask like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask for help. Um, we're right here. Did we just sit here and watch all the? Why did we just sit here and watch this? Hmm. Was I also supposed to do this quest a long time ago? The dark cherries. Uh oh. Dang it. Oh, I'm back here. Hmm. Oh, there's another thing over there. How did I never get any of these? Hey guys, Venus here. A tangy berry. I don't really need any more of those, but hey, I got one. Dang it. Okay, this goes back to the desert. It's also where the traveling snail shop was, I think.
And that does nothing. Good to know. Uh, let's see, the questing thing is here. We're gonna probably have to... Hang on, let me read it. Yeah, some bands took my friend's mask. I really tried to fight him, but they're too strong. Need some backup. Me and the Ant Kingdom's residential area. Okay. Yarg. Uh, since we're going back to the Ant Kingdom, let's go ahead and beat some guys up. Also, actually, after I beat up some guys, I think that might be it for now. I know we could probably go on for another, like, six hours, but I don't really feel like it. But I feel like we can get another two or three hours out of this game, so... Does Chompy just- or does Cassie just do her own thing? This is what I was really after. I want to see what she does in combat. She does have her own turn. She can attack, numbing bite? That's because of her bow, I guess. Or do nothing. Oh, you're right, I forgot. Oh, she has different things, I didn't know. Now it bubbled itself. Alright, uh, what new moves did I get? Let's see, we got nothing for Kabu, so that's sad. Wrong button. We've got Frost Relay. Leaf freezes an enemy and V hits it multiple times. Hit, hits many times. It, yeah, that's what... Did it really need to iterate on that? <laughs> Press the button, show him for the command to succeed. Oh no! It got faster! I wasn't prepared for that. Chompy power! Oh. I'm glad Chompy... Why do I keep calling it Chompy? I'm glad Cassie doesn't have her own health bar. I'd feel really bad if she died. I know her name is Cassie, it's just I feel like the race itself is called Chompy. But it's not. They're called Chompers. Power! All right, Cassie, chomp him up. Eh. I did it. Oh, she doesn't have her own victory dance or something. Uh, how many more of those do I need to kill? I think they're called Striders. Water Strider. Okay. Seven more. Or not seven more, three more. I have seven. I'm sorry I keep calling Cassie a chompy. Like, how would that feel if I just kept calling you a red cloud? Good old cloudy. Reborn the cloudy. Ah, uh, the bestest of friend. Alright, I'm gonna stab you in the face. Not you, Cloudy. I'm sad I can't, like, have Cassie do something before everyone else, but I guess that's balanced. It's a free extra hit. Thought about stabbing it, but who cares? Chomp. Hmm, that did nothing. You are beneath my notice. Not being able to level is kind of sad. But hey, money. Uh, 
Come on, where are the striders? I know there has to be more than two out on this entire ocean. Even though this is barely a pond. Aha. Aha. Oh, two. I think that'll be it then. Alright, let's try that relay again. Yeah, an extra hit effects, although that does take points. Aha! Oh, it does have a limit? Dang. I was kind of hoping it didn't have a limit. But it does. I'm gonna bite him! Eh! Ow, that did nothing. Hmm. Just look how proud she looks, too. It's like, yeah, I'm here. I'm gonna chop him up. Oh, it didn't die. did it. Land at Metal Island? Yes. I'm only missing one ribbon. What ribbon would I be missing? Is there a fire ribbon? I'll absolutely wear a fire ribbon. Let's see. I'm glad I can dig into the ocean. But I can't dig through a table. And if there is a fire ribbon, it's probably back where I beat the king. That or it's where the, it's some demonic cat thing I have to fight. No, oh, not fire, but that's the best stats effect. Ah, that's it. I can feel you beat them all, haven't you? Yeah, now for the reward. Sure, sure, here you go. This is not a reward. Oof, I already feel much better. Maybe I'll sleep well tonight at last. Thank you. Don't forget what you did. I won't forget what you did either. Pay me in stupid lore. That's not payment. I'm just doing your chores. Alright, well, anyways, it's been a bit, so I think that will probably be it for now. I'm probably going to read the lore, and then we're going to call it for today. Sorry for the stream being a little bit short, too, but I do have the mysterious piece, yes. I don't remember where we got it, but I do have it. I think I've had it for most of the game. Okay, here's your stupid lore book. What does it say? The study of magic. Magic is uncommon, and few bugs are able to use it. Some bugs theorize that crystal exposure can grant magic powers, but testing yearns no fruit. Yeah, of course it is. I guess that explains why I could never find a use for it. A legendary wizard that lived in these lands used to experiment with crystals to learn their magic properties. But he suddenly disappeared, and all knowledge of how the crystals relate to magic disappeared with him. Rumors have said that he might be living in the far grasslands, but no traces of him have been located. Is that the spider? He's a sorcerer, though. He was just born with it. Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's magic. Also, Gum, just want to say, sorry, stretching, but just want to say I really did appreciate your joke. I'm sorry I didn't really acknowledge it. For a second, I was like, uh, what was he talking about? Geometry. And then I realized, oh yeah, he did turn into a tree. 
Master of all geometry. But anyways, we'll probably continue this maybe later, maybe tomorrow, probably tomorrow, maybe. Unless I have another thing to do. But I kind of am interested in clearing up all the, like, loose ends we have in this game. Like, what did I miss? What parts improve our speedrun? Potential. Alright. Tell it to me straight, Reborn. Do they get the chomper in the speedrun? If you've seen it. I would assume no, because that seems really slow, but... It'd be really good. That one extra damage every turn. With no repercussions except maybe missing. But either way. I think that'll be it for now because I should probably eat something. Do they go to an optional area in a speedrun for two damage? Yeah, that seems optimal to me. Does that not seem optimal to you? It seems optimal to me. But anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're all having a good day and will continue to have a good day with or without the stream. Look forward to the rest of Bug Fables, and then we'll move on to another game. We'll either... I'm not sure. I'll ask on the Discord, I guess. Like, what big game should we start again? It's like, we have Dragon Quest, we have things I haven't played yet, and we have a bunch of older things I never beat. But we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will... See you all later. Yep, we found our new friend. And I'm sad we didn't get her sooner. She's already... Much like Leaf, I have instantly fallen in love with how adorable she is. And she has a bow. The most important part. Which we earned through video games. Anyways, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye for now.